I have three types of walls and I want them all to be displayed uh, on my project differently. So I have my existing wall. If I click on this wall, you'll see that the phase that it was created was existing and the phase that it was demolished is none. So we're not going to demolish this wall. If you click on this wall, you can see that my phase created was existing and my phase demolished was for new construction. Now, for, to, to demolish a wall, simply go to the Modify tab and we have this little rubber uh, hammer type of a hammer. Just click on the object and it will demolish it. And then finally, I have a new wall. Phase uh, created is new construction. Phase demolished is none. So that's the phase uh, attributes for these three different type of walls. Now, you might not like my color uh, selection, but you'll see very shortly that you can pick whatever colors you want. So the first thing I want to do now is go to the Manage tab, and I want to go to Phases. I want to problem with two monitors, right? Let's see if I can get that a little bit. There we go. So I want to look at my phase uh, phases. These are the two that are, I can make more, but I don't need to. Uh, and my phase filters. Now, I'm looking at this in the uh, show complete, and I have chosen to override. This is not the default setting, but in my show complete, I want to override my new, I want to override my existing, and I want to override my demolished. Now, it defaults to not displayed for temporary, and I don't use temporary, uh, so I don't have to change that from not displayed. And then finally, we go to the graphic overalls. Okay, so over here, you can see existing is light gray. So anytime it's an existing phase, it's going to display it as light gray. Demolished, I'm saying is dashed lines or hidden lines. And new is red. But if I wanted to change that color, I would just click on it and say, well, I don't want it to be red. Oh, whoops, that's solid. That's the hatch pattern. Here I don't want it to be, maybe I want it to be blue or magenta. All right, I'll say okay, I'll say okay. And then I have to say, okay, one more time. And there we go. So now when I'm uh, drawing uh, in my, when I'm working, uh, all of the walls that I put in on the new phase uh, are going to be this color. So if I decided that I wanted to demolish that, let's just see what happens real quick here. If I click demolish, it went away. Right, uh, that was not part of my demonstration, but I did want to see that. Uh, and everything was great. I should have just stopped where I was. <laughs> anyway, that is uh, an issue that is not part of this demonstration. I just wanted to show you how to change the graphic display of the three different types of walls. And so I'll figure out on my own why that object went away when I hit the demolish. It should have, well, because maybe because it was a new construction. All right, let's try that real quickly. Let's click on this and say that it was not new construction, but it was existing, okay? So let's see how that changes. Okay, it changes to this type. And now let's demolish, there we go. So I was telling Revit to, put in a new wall and then demolish it. So uh, there we go, there's the answers to that. The uh, idea here was just real quickly to show you the uh, dialog box so you could set it up any way that you wanted to and have these three walls shown different colors.